Hey there internet, I'm here with Chef Nui and we're at an amazing sushi restaurant in Emeryville. He's gonna show you how to make some sushi. This is part three of a series all about creating sushi. Yeah. What are we making right now? Uh, we make the uh, unaki dong, mm. this one. So this uh, um, fresh water eel mm. with the uh, unaki sauce barbecue already. So I have to cut this one. Then. Sure, yeah. The, but I have to shake knife now. Yeah. This one we call Yanaki knife, and uh, we're not gonna use this one. This one for uh, nigiri sashimi and uh, regular roll, but uh, we have to use a shape knife. Mm. This one, like a kitchen knife. I also use this one for the uh, uh, cut something in the kitchen too. Mm. Yeah, everything. I never knew there are two different knives that you use well, for we, doing sushi. We have a lot. Uh, sushi knife have a lot. Many many kind of uh, sushi. Right? I learn something new every time we talk about this. Uh, so I cut first. And we're at KYU2. Yes, That's the name of the restaurant. If you haven't heard of it, you gotta come out and check it out. It's right in Emeryville, uh, right off Hollis and uh, 65th. Yeah, right. Yeah. 65th and Hollis. Centrally located parking right across the street, free parking, and also a bus in the Emeryville merry-go-round. Yeah, next to Starbucks. Yep. So you cut in the diagonal fashion? Yes. What do you think are some of the biggest challenges of being a sushi chef? Uh, your passion. If yeah. you want to learn, you want to make something good for people, you know the spirit of the chef. When you see customer eat your food, gone, everything, they make a kriya in your dish, and it's a really excellent food. That's a, your heart, like, you know. Yeah. That's a, the most challenge. And uh, if you want to learn, Okay. Give you guys a nice view of this too, in case you can't see it. Mm, it looks so tasty. If you want to learn how to make sushi, it's not not very hard. Uh, it takes like a one day, two day, you can learn everything. But if you want to learn how to be chef, that take a year, mm. two year, something like that. Because you have to learn everything to be chef. So in Japan, they're not teaching everybody easily. Like uh, how to cook a sushi rice, it takes like five years before mm. you turn over to touch the fish. Mm. Yeah. And the most difficult of the make, making sushi, the chef have to turn like 10 years, they can learn how to make tamako. If you know tamako, the egg, fried egg, yeah. Yeah, the square one, that's uh, the most difficult. Make nice, very, very difficult. So, but I learn everything fast, fast way. Uh, because uh, my my master, he teach me everything within one year. So I'm lucky to teach, uh, learn everything. What is but this sauce? This is uh, unagi sauce. Mm. Like a sweet soy sauce. Mm. You have to learn this one too, how to make it. Same thing like, like a lambing, like this, this kind of sauce. Um, in Japan, we never make a new one. When the sauce go down, we boil it again with the 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 eel bone, mm. uh, eel skin, something like that, and we boil it with the uh, soy sauce and sugar, mm -hmm. and boil it long time until the water gone, and everything go down. The water go down until they getting sticky, become such a leggy sauce. Just take a lot of time, like uh, sometimes making one day, two day. A little sesame on there. Yes. And this uh, house made cucumber, Ooh. a cucumber pickle. You How can taste that. 
how long you pickled. Mmm. It's crunchy and sweet. No? I feel like I'm in Japan right now. <laughs> Just we don't speak Japanese. Well, does she want the hunger gas squishy or karimas? That means I understand a little bit of Japanese. That's pretty much the extent of what I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Ohio gozaimas. Um, good morning. This, that's all. Finish. Easy peasy for that one. Yeah. This uh, we call unaki don. So this one order already. Excellent. I'll start to prepare it. For... So that's the end of this video. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Check back for the next one. We're gonna make another roll. And you gotta you gotta subscribe and hit those notifications so you can see what you can learn next time. <laughs>